County Hall stands at the heart of London, on the banks of the Thames, across from Parliament, next to the iconic London Eye. It is here that one of the more unique and fascinating artistic arrivals to the London art world has been gathering momentum over the past year. The artist, Nasser Azam, has unveiled two major exhibitions of painting and sculpture to widespread acclaim, along with a major public sculpture on the River Walk outside the gallery. His abstract paintings, rich in colour and gesture, and bronze semi-figurative sculptures, have become established as an important fixture in the London art scene. As a leading British artist living and working in London, he is now at the forefront of a new expressive art movement, which is progressive and universal, but respects classical traditions and technique. Azam was born in Pakistan and moved with his family to England in 1970. Like many artists, he started when he was very young, painting on the walls of his parents' house in Jhelum. His early works depicted family life and showed remarkable psychological insight. At the same time, he experimented voraciously with modern painting styles, ranging from symbolist to almost fully abstract imagery. Alongside an enthusiastic response to his exhibitions in the international press, his achievements were recorded in a BBC documentary. Family pressure had led to Azam electing to study business at university. His studies led to a glittering career in the financial sector. Azam quickly rose to the top of his profession, travelling around the world, but he never stopped being an artist. During 23 years in high finance, he never lost sight of the long hours spent painting in his makeshift studio in Birmingham. The artist has commented on his break from painting, saying, it always remained with me that incredible feeling of creating something of value, of walking into the studio in the morning and seeing the image there. It is the greatest gift. After two decades working and traveling extensively all over the world, Azam returned to painting in early 2006. Remarkably, many of the ideas and themes that he had left 23 years previously reappeared as though there had been no hiatus. He worked with acrylics on large portrait format canvases, combining loose gestural marks with semi-abstract figurative imagery. Now, as artist in residence at London's County Hall Gallery, Azam's evolving exhibition of work sees him both returning to the visual and thematic motifs of his youth and pushing the boundaries of his professional practice. Like all artists, Azam is a provocateur. He paints regardless of the world, taking whatever is dealt and reshuffling it according to his own will. His images arise entirely through his own individual alchemical process, which remains obscure even to the artist himself. But if the process is dark, the results are not throwing off beams of light, a son et lumière of colour and form. Many of these more recent works have a sculptural quality, and it is not surprising that at the same time Azam began to focus on making sculpture. I've been sculpting for about a year now. When I first came back to painting about a year and a half ago, I was concentrating on painting. Most of my paintings are still about movement, but I think you're restricted immensely with uh, the use of uh, a two-dimensional space. So even though you're creating the image uh, of three dimension, ultimately it's only three, uh, two dimensional. So uh, I wanted to really bring that to life a lot more. And that was uh, really the reason I started sculpting.
His first major work, a monumental four-metre bronze sculpture titled The Dance,